Welcome to the official film chart, brought to you in association with findanyfilm.com, the only chart that combines digital and physical sales. Stay tuned until the end for a sneak peek at Midway, but first, let's see what films you've been buying this week. One, two, three, four. At number 10, and back in the chart, Woody and the Gang return for Toy Story 4. Woody, behind you! If there's one thing I know, it's that a toy's job Kaboom. is never done. The Lion King makes a comeback, roaring in at number 9. At number 8, and down 2, it's the charming animation, Abominable. Huh? <gasps> it's beautiful! You did that, Yee. I did that? Sequel to the cult classic, Zombieland Double Tap is holding strong at number 7. Start talking. You first. Well, my name's Tallahassee. At number 6, it's the handmade animation, a Shaun the Sheep movie, Farmageddon. Your Majesties, welcome to Downton Abbey. A former number 1, with the King coming to stay in Downton Abbey, at number 5. Will you have enough cliches to get you through the visit? If not, I'll come to you. Oh, here we go. Will Smith takes on himself in action thriller Gemini Man, which leaps to number 4. You made a choice to do this to me. Our only new entry for this week, at number three, Arnie and Linda Hamilton are back in Terminator Dark Fate. I'll be back. Down to number two, Joker is still laughing away. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? And rising one place, Evil reigns supreme with Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, at number one. There is no union! There will be no wedding! What have you done? Before you go, take a look at this behind-the-scenes clip from wartime epic Midway, available to download and keep from March 2nd. Midway is an amazing story. And it has never been told right. I'll meet you at the Japanese fleet. There's some pivotal points in World War II that shaped what the outcome was for America. One of them is, is the Battle of Midway. I'm glad at least some of the boys still want to fight. Everybody was very conscientious about trying to make it real. And I think they got it right. If we don't knock out that airfield, they'll go after Enterprise. Talking about a conflict that lots of good men lost their lives on both sides. So it's important that we are as historically accurate as we can be. So how wonderful for us that being historically accurate is still unbelievable and epic and exciting. We are playing make-believe, right? But we're just trying to play make-believe as authentically as we can. Thanks for watching. Join us again next week for the official film chart.